Genesis 50 verse 19 through 21. God overcomes evil with good. But Joseph told them, don't be afraid of me. Am I God to judge and punish you? As far as I am concerned, God turned into good what you meant for evil. He brought me to the high position I have today so I could save the lives of many people. No, don't be afraid. Indeed, I myself will take care of you and your families. And he spoke very kindly to them, reassuring them. We learn a great truth about God's character in this last chapter of Genesis. Jacob's sons who intended to harm their brother Joseph were used by God instead to save the lives of many people. Who could have brought good out of such evil intent? Only God, our Savior. He is able to use the worst tragedies to work some of the greatest good. Take comfort in God's wonderful works. Praise the Lord, our Redeemer, for his providential care, which ultimately causes good to triumph over evil. Yes, there are those times where we want to take things in our own hands and deal with the situation and get back at that person or individuals who have done us wrong. But know this, God overcomes evil with good. God has the ability to turn things around in our favor. Regardless of what it may look like, we must believe God Trust him, stand on his word, knowing that he will intervene. Remember, the Bible says that vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. Trust him, knowing that he knows what he's doing. Believe his sovereign plan, that all things will work together for good. To them who love the Lord, to them who are the called, according to his purpose. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you that we can turn to you in the midst of life's difficulties. You come to us as Savior and Redeemer, offering your sure help and certain hope. When we cannot see a way out, you offer vision to overcome. When we stumble, you pick us up and set us back on course. We praise you that you can transform our sinful heart and bring good into our life. To you be the glory forever and ever. Amen.